To request docs for a customer, which will be a custom document package compiled by your company, it will be sent to you. Once you do your part in it, it will then be sent to the customer to sign. After the signing process is complete, it will re-upload to this docs request screen for you to be able to download, reference, do whatever you want with. So to do that process, you'll notice that you want to be on the customer that you want to request a proposal for. We'll have the customer ID, the company name, dates, things like that. You'll also have your notes and files section over here. You can always hit this button to minimize that. If we're on the docs request tab, this will work all in flow with the customer that we're on. We can go ahead and select an install partner for this job. Sample installer will be what we'll select. You'll notice next one we need to verify the proposal that was used to sell the customer. Now this is a very important part of the process because our system will automatically pull the information out of the proposal you used to sell the customer into this system. To ensure that we have that correct, you'll want to go to the solar proposal. You want to verify the system size, 5.7 kilowatts, and you'll want to verify the cost of the system, 21,375. To ensure that these numbers are the numbers that pull when we go back to the docs request screen, make sure to hit save on your proposal. You will get a save message, settings successfully saved. You can close out of that, go back to your docs request. So now that we've been selected our installer, we want to verify the proposal that was sold. We click on this, it will list that proposal number here. And once we click on this, it will auto populate that section. 5.7, 21,375. So we know that we have the right proposal. If you need to, you can always click on this hot link that will appear once a proposal is selected. This will open up the same proposal we were just on, but once again, it will give you the chance to verify the system size and the cost of the system. Knowing that those numbers are correct, we can go ahead and move forward. The person on the utility bill, is it the homeowner, is it a co-applicant, is it a utility account holder? If it's the homeowner, we can click on this and the information beneath, right here under name and email, will automatically populate. Test proposal, test at gmail.com. If it's another person, you'll need to manually enter this information in. Type in the utility account number, the meter number, and then come down and hit request docs.